Hi guys, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Hana Roos and I'm an Estate Doctor from Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. So for those who first time with me in my YouTube channel, usually I'm going to share with you guys all the things that related to a beauty. I would say it's more about educational purpose. As for today, I'm going to share with you guys one of the most famous active ingredient for the skin brightener, which is Arbutin. Tint. Well, specifically, I'm going to discuss what's the difference between Arbutin versus Alpha Arbutin. For those who are obsessed to get a fairer skin complexion, I think they are very familiar with these terms. But for those who don't know yet, what is Arbutin, what Arbutin can do, or do you really need the Arbutin in your daily skincare routine, or how to apply it, don't forget to like and subscribe to YouTube below. How to pronounce the Arbutin? Some call Arbutin, I don't know, Pangil Arbutin. I think Arbutin will be enough. So let's get back to the definitions of the Arbutin. Arbutin is actually one of the natural derivatives of uh, hydroquinone. I would say um, natural uh, skin brightener because the molecule we extract from the berry plants. Same goes to other skin, uh, natural skin brighteners such as vitamin C. You know where does the vitamin C come from? Uh, kojic acid. Kojic acids also come from the mushroom and also the Recorize. These are those examples we call as all the natural skin brightener. So this natural skin brightener, it works as similar as hydroquinone mechanism, but it less aggressive. So most of the client, they prefer this one. So how does do this Arbutin work? So usually Arbutin, uh, same with the hydroquinone, it inhibits the uh, tyrosinase production. Tyrosinase is an enzyme. This enzyme is really important to convert from the tyrosine into the melanin. So once these enzymes last, so the conversion from tyrosine into the melanin will be lesser. So less melanin, and up with the less pigmentations, less dark spot, and you're gonna have a very even complexion, so very complexion. Kalau you guys mau beli arbutin di pasaran, you guys can check the punya ingredients. We, is it um, alpha arbutin or beta arbutin? How to check? Usually, kalau dia tulis arbutin only, most of the times it refers to beta arbutin. But kalau tulis alpha arbutin, yes, it's alpha arbutin. So which one is better? Of course, alpha arbutin is better. So I would say because it's a pure and effectiveness is 10 times much more higher than beta. Of course, the formulation is a bit expensive if compared to the beta arbutin. You guys talk kan ada kojic acid. Kojic acid is one of the skin uh, brightener as well. It's just that if compared to arbutin, kojic acid the punya formulation is quite unstable. They're easily oxidized, okay? Easily oxidized to air, easily oxidized to uh, heat. So I would say Arbutin is much more easier and a better. But the Arbutin, the efficacy is less compared to the Kojic acid. So if you want to choose Arbutin, I suggest you choose Alpha Arbutin. So what's the benefits of using the Arbutin is that number one, you can have the brighter skin complexions or even skin complexion. Number two, helps to enlighten your pigmentation and dark spot. Number three, it's a good remedy for the acne marks. And then uh, three good things about the Arbutin compared to other skin brightener will be number one, of course, it's skin, uh, natural skin brightener. Number two, it's less aggressive than hydroquinone. And number three, the, uh, Arbutin have the active compound that release slowly. So it's a very stable and gentle, suitable for those who have sensitive skin. How to apply the Arbutin? Number one, you need to do the patch test. I will say once you bought the Arbutin, right? You apply the Arbutin skincare at your forehead because your forehead is one of the thickest skin at your face. You apply it over the night and you wash is there any irritation if there's no irritations you can apply it daily at the sports area up to one week and you observe if there's any irritations if there's no irritations you can increase up to twice per day and number two uh, doctor do i need to apply a sports area or and your entire face it doesn't matter you can apply a spots area or entire face as long as you do the patch test and you don't have any irritations 
Number three, I suggest you apply moisturizer to our routine. Yeah, it's a must. Number four, I don't suggest you guys uh, combine together with retinol within 24 hours usage of the R routine. Number five, yes, you can combine R routine with vitamin C and also a HA. Number six, please uh, don't use the R routine more than three months. Usually, you already you can see the result between one to two months of the constant usage. The brand, the product that I can suggest for the Arbutin, there's uh, the Ordinary Blend, the Inkiris brand, and of course the last one is IS, IS Clinical Advanced Serum. I like this IS Clinical Serum because it's already combined as a combination between vitamin C and Arbutin, so it's quite good. I think that's all for me. Uh, thank you for watching. Harap membantu. Don't forget to like and subscribe the YouTube below. Bye bye.